Hi, this is Mr. Wedge, and today uh, we're going to draw an Australian animal in the x-ray style, and then we're going to do some dot painting. So I've got a black piece of paper, and I'm going to put my name on the back and my class code. And it doesn't matter what color you use, as long as you can see it. Just use a colored pencil. And three dash something. Alright, flip it over, and pick an animal that you want to draw. It really helps to look at a reference picture. And Australia has a lot of unique animals like the kangaroo and the platypus, the koala, the Tasmanian devil, kookaburra, uh, barramundi fish is sacred. You'll see this in artwork a lot. Um, I'm going to draw a kangaroo, I think. I'm going to do my best. It's going to be tricky. But think about the big shapes. So if you look at the body, it's basically kind of like an oval. And then there's a triangle for the head, kind of diamond shapes for the ears. The legs are just rectangles. Looks like a backwards L. And then the you know, curved, kind of the same thing for the tail. So just look at the big shapes and try to draw it as best you can. So I'm going to think about like where the body is going to be. Maybe it turns into the tail. Um, so right about here there's a straight line. There's like a, if you look at the negative space, that's the air around it. There's like a square shape right there. So I can try and figure out where that would be and draw that. And I'm just doing my best. So just and try to draw it big too, so it fills up the paper, because it's going to help you out a lot later. It, do, it doesn't have to be realistic or perfect, okay? Because um, Aboriginal art is abstract; they just make it cool looking. All right, I drew my outline of my kangaroo, and. Um, it's not exactly in the middle, but I kind of like that too. Maybe I'll put something over here just to fill up the space. Maybe I'll put the sun or something. Yeah, the sun in the sky. Just to kind of balance out the picture. And now I can go in and start to uh, add the skeleton. So I've got, I found a picture of a kangaroo skeleton. I'm not going to draw this realistically, but I am going to kind of look at the shapes and the patterns and start to put some of those things in. So. You can see these bumps all the way down for the, the vertebrae. You see the ribs. There's bones in the legs and the arms. And then he's got a skull, right, with the hole for the eye and the mouth. So I'm just going to think about those and start to add things. And it doesn't have to be white just because it's bones. But we're going to start to, in an abstract way, put some of those, put some of those shapes and patterns in. So I put some abstract shapes in just to represent some of the bones I saw. You can also draw the organs, so where the food would go in, you know, the esophagus, and it might turn, you know, there's a stomach right here. So you can draw all that stuff if you want to. And then once you get your shapes, we're going to color it in. And color it in however you want. Use whatever colors, as long as they're bright. I colored in all my shapes and I gave everything a white outline too just so you could see it a little bit better. Um, but now I've got some white tempera paint on a plate and uh, just a little stick with a rounded end on it. And this is what um, Aboriginal artists would use to do uh, dots. So we're going to cover the whole background in dots. It's a dot painting. And if you don't have one of these you could actually just use like a big paintbrush that with a rounded end. That would work too. You're going to use the wrong end of the paintbrush for this, but I'm going to use this stick right here. So we're just going to um, take it and hold the rounded end so it's, you know, like that, and dip it in the paint. And then I'm going to make a dot right next to my kangaroo. And I'm actually going to do a pattern. I'm going to, I think I'm going to do like wavy lines in the background. So I'm going to keep making dots, but I'm going to try to make a dotted line it kind of waves like this. See how it kind of snakes around? 
I'm going to go right to the edge, and it's okay to go right off the, the edge. And this is tempera, so it's washable. Um, and then I'm going to do another one next to it. But you could just go right around your your X-ray animal, and then um, you know do another row around it and another row, and it would just keep growing until you filled up the background. But I'm going to try to do this wavy pattern, so you can just watch me and see what I mean. If you notice, I'm going paint, dot, paint, dot. Now you could go like this, paint, dot, 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 but look what happens, the dots get really small. So if you want them to be all the same size, you just want to um, get paint each time. And this does get kind of tedious in it. It's like the same thing over and over again, and sometimes that can make it hard. Um, but another thing that'll help is if you put your paint really close to where you're working. So if I have my paint way out there and I'm working here, I have to move my arm a lot to do it. See that? But just a little trick is, you know, put your paint right next to where you're working. And if you mess up and make a mistake, it's okay, nobody's gonna see it because there's gonna be so many dots in the background. So I'm gonna keep going with my pattern until I fill up the background. I love dot painting. I just think it looks really cool. And uh, I tried to do, you know, wavy lines in the background. And if a line kind of hit the kangaroo, I kind of stopped and had it come out the other side. So some overlapping there. But um, x ray style mixed with dot painting. These are Aboriginal painting techniques in Australia. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. You don't have to do the wavy pattern like I did, it could just be vertical lines or horizontal lines with it. Or, like I said, you could just go around over and over around your shapes. Um, it's up to you as long as it's a pattern. You don't want just random polka dots. But anyway, hope you enjoy this. Work hard. Have fun.